Hello, and welcome to creating better RWR noises for the Jeff or cockpit noises in general. Let's get right into it. You're going to want to go to your DCS World Core folder, wherever that is. Then you're going to want to go to Mods, Aircraft, JF-17. Then you're going to go to Sounds, and here you're going to want to go into two different things. The first one is Effects. Go into Effects, go to Cockpit, go to Warning, and here is all of your cockpit noises. This folder you probably won't have, I will get to that. These are going to be the sounds that are consistent across all the languages you will hear. So you'll see CN1, CN2, English 1, and English 2. These stand for Chinese 1, Chinese 2, and English 1, and English 2. So if you've flown the GIF, you'll know that the warnings are mostly someone talking to you. So obviously the Chinese one is going to be talking to you in Chinese. The English one is going to be talking to you in English, as these ones are not words and they are not spoken to you. Instead, they are a series of beeps or sounds. They are not categorized in a language. So these ones you can replace right away. Go ahead, download any MP3s you want. Convert them into WAV. If you don't know how to do that, I will show you and then replace them with the correct spelling. The same exact spelling, it is caps sensitive. Case sensitive, whatever you want to call it. Now, like I said, this CE folder, if I remember correctly, doesn't exist in the file yet. You can create it by copying uh, any of these and then renaming it to CE. Obviously, whichever file you copy is going to have all of these sounds in your CE file. And you don't want that. So when you do create CE, you can replace all these sounds with your own sounds. They have to be .wav uh, files and they have to have the same exact spelling. You'll notice that all of these have the same exact spelling no matter which folder I go into all of them. If, for whatever reason, you do not know if your file is a .wav, you can click on the file. This goes for any file. You can right-click on it once you have highlighted it. Left-click, right-click, hit Properties, and it will tell you the type of file right here. Type of file, wav file. If it does happen to say mp3 or whatever, then you can go to no, oh, I still got to learn that. <laughs> you can go to online audioconverter.com. It looks like a sketchy website. It is not. I've used it for all these sounds. Take any file, even MP4s, which means you can convert videos into sound files. By the way, use that information as you will. Hit WAV once you've dragged and drop. Hit convert. And then hit download. So, once you have replaced all your sounds, uh, you're halfway there. I know, you'd think it would just be that easy, it's not. Go back to sounds, uh, the folder sounds, and go to a folder called SDEF, or as I'm going to refer to it, is DEF. Open that, go to cockpit, go to warning, and you'll notice that these are obviously very similar to the actual sound files. That's because these are scripts to tell the game uh, to go into the correct folder to play the right noise for the warning. So this particular notepad is telling the game to go into the effects folder, to cockpit folder in the effects folder, to the warning folder in cockpit blah blah blah, to the landing AOA or file, sound file, and it's going to play the landing AOA sound file. Obviously it does that very quick because it's a computer. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, you'll probably have this CE file in this already. And if you open it, you'll probably find this readme.txt file. Um, if you don't understand whatever I'm saying, this basically is going to repeat everything I've said, uh, just for clarification. If you get confused, you can always refer to this readme.txt. So, in this thing, go to your CE and you will have to Create these files in your CE is def file by copying the ones in English 1. Um, and then 
You will take all of those ZDEF files that are in here, copied from English 1. Once you've copied them from English 1 into CE, open each one and change this to CE. It's probably going to say English 1 because you copied it from English 1. So since you copied it from English 1, you've copied all the scripts that are trying to play the English 1 sounds. You want the customized sounds that you already made, so change this to CE. Remember, these are all mappings to the correct folder. So if you map it to the CE folder, it's going to play, it's going to choose that folder to play the sound out of. And you do that for all of these. They're all named the same, so it's really consistent and easy. These ones are also mapped, but they're mapped because, again, they're not categorized in a specific language. They're just a series of beeps and noises. These are already uh, mapped to the sound that you've replaced them with, as long as these effects right here, these ones that aren't in a, in, uh, in a language folder, are spelled the same exact and are .wav files. As long as you have that, you're sitting pretty. All right, uh, this is the screen you want to gonna get to. This is all you have to do. Go to settings, go to special, your JF17, and where it says voice locale, go to customized. Instead of, funny enough, you'll probably recognize that these are the sound files and his def file names, EN1, EN2, CN1, CN2. Go to customize, customize is for CE, so yeah. That's it. That's all you have to do. And once you're done with that, you should get some pretty funny me malicious moments. Uh, I hope I make a compilation right now. Bruh. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun flight today. <laughs> it's a good looking jet, man. Bruh. It's not that funny, it's just so ironic that you'd be in like a very professional fighter. By the way, if you want to record any sounds via any screen recording, audio recording software, uh, you can still convert it into a WAV the same way I showed you, and it will still do the same thing. So if you wanted to record yourself saying things, Go for it. If you wanted to have a fully anime girl cockpit talk to you like a bunch of waifus giving you warnings, go for it. No one is stopping you. Okay, I filled my cockpit with memes because I think it's funny and it makes me happy. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Does it get annoying after a while? I mean a little bit, but I prefer the word bruh over and over and over instead of uh, tracking, 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 missile, 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 and the stupid really hard to hear beeps that this jet comes stock with. They're just, I don't know, they don't get my attention. I really don't. Like, I could go the whole way with ignoring them. I bet half the people that fly this jet don't even know there's an overg warning because it's that quiet. You just can't hear it. And that's no bueno. Uh, but the Jeff is a good jet. Bruh. It's a good airframe. It's a really good airframe to learn on if you're looking to uh, find a good jet. It's kind of one of those hidden gems for beginners. I gotta figure out how to put my nose Bruh. on and get them in the HUD. I can't always uh, put them in the helmet mounted sight, you know? Bruh. It's gonna be so hard to talk. So here's the plan. Um, we, we're going for an SA3 site west of Aleppo. Bruh. <laughs> uh, we're we we don't have any fancy weapons. No anti radiation. This is kind of uh, an old, old <laughs> an older style server. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use some Vietnam wild weaseling tactics, and we're going to. Uh, Drop some Mark 82s on them, hopefully. I don't remember how to do CCIP in this jet. Shouldn't be too much of a concern.
Track, track, you piece of shit, missile. Like... Yes. <laughs> Where is he? Jesus. <laughs> That's a terrible design for the gun, by the way. You should be able to flip the gun up and... Oh. That was the over G warning. Perfect. We got him, boys. We got him good. And there's a uh, bad jet right there. Some stuff out from Minosa, it looks like. Get rid of that tank, go to air to air, hit dogfight mode, and let's get dog fighting with that over G warning. Such a shitty system for a gun. on the final. Yeah, I don't need an eight killing me. 
Let's get a little bit slower. Use the nose authority of the Jeff. Bring it around here. Box two. Damn. Now we leave. We leave very fast. Oh, that's a Marsh 2000. Good. Mirage is buddy spiking me. Should be not locking me anymore. S still back there. Okay, I think he knows. I think just old RWR stuff. Should be good. Okay. So, no sad on you. There, buckaroo. Let's go home. Or maybe to Hante? Is Hante blue yet? That'd be really convenient. Uh, nope. No, it is not. Is. Zero two five. Well, God damn it, if that isn't a good looking jet. Look at it. I have no idea what the shit is going on down there. What? Oh, looks like this. Or this. This. Just shooting him. 
Huh. You're shooting at. Bushes. Well, you shot those bushes. You <laughs> did a good job. You shot those bushes. Bruh. Where's this airfield? It's right below me. Bruh. Say what you will about the Jeff, but she's a really fun air friend to fly. How much? Bruh. Nose. It's a little bit better than the F-16. Uh, nose at the ready wise. But uh, the F-16 is way better ergonomically. My AOA warning, by 